Welcome to Coaches Weekly. I'm CJ Sullender here with head football coach Randy Ari. Coach, get to talk about a fantastic victory, a hard-fought victory for your team this week. Rockford came in. They really controlled the pace of the game for a lot of it. Your guys didn't get impatient, though, on the offensive end. They took what they gave them, and you guys came out on the offensive end and looked very good. Well, thank you. I, you know, we're real pleased with the weekend. Uh, you know, when you have a situation, like you said, Rockford's game plan was keep the ball out of our offense's hand. They did a great job controlling the game. Um, they tried to keep everything in front of them when we did get on offense. They didn't want to give up those big plays, but they were, you know, they were a lot of times dropping eight, nine guys sometimes, and so that made it more difficult to throw the short and intermediate passes, but I thought our offense did a real good job, you know, picking what they did give us, and obviously our offensive line did a great job with Lance being able to run the football that made them have to get back into a normal game situation. Once we got ahead, they had to try to score. And once we got in that normal, like the third quarter, fourth quarter, it, our guys really took charge. Yeah, the, really for Rockford, they had that opening drive that they were marching down the field. Then your defense steps up, gets a huge turnover, which they ended up forcing four on the day. And that really kind of turned the momentum. You guys race down and score. And from there, Rockford got out, had to get out of their game plan because they had to play, ch they had to chase you guys all right. day. Right, and you know when you're playing catch up, that makes it difficult. It's always nice to be on the other end, and you're not having to play catch up. You know the thing I think too is uh, our defense is young. If you look, the whole secondary are all new young football players. They played a great game. They had some great knockdowns. We had some picks. We had uh, got after the ball. So the turnover game is always a very important part of our game. And we, you know, this year are starting to win those turnover battles, which gives our offense the chance to score because they have the ball more times. Now a couple of players on the defensive side, Payan and the Seidler brothers, they really got after it. Payan forced to, was a part of two of those turnovers. I mean, the secondary that you say is young had, was really cohesive in that they had a couple tip balls and they were giving up some size to some of those Rockford receivers. They were some big boys on the Rockford side. But they weren't afraid. They went and attacked them and got, were very aggressive in coverage. No, we got two very, very good corners, two good safeties. But they're all, again, this is the first year that they've played together. Um, and so that makes a change. You know, uh, Peyton Seidler was on the offensive side last year. Now he's playing defense. Um, A.J. obviously is the older of that whole group. Um, Rudy is only a sophomore, and he's a, a linebacker. We were talking about him earlier today in the coaches' meeting. Every week, he's just getting better and better and better because once our guys are learning what's going on out there and they're understanding the defense, they're understanding what the other team's trying to do, it's really starting to click for our, for our defense. And those turnovers are huge. It's a big part of the game. Now, part of the season, in a couple of the losses you guys have had, it was that second half. You guys just didn't have enough or that you had the lead and the other team kind of fought their way back on you guys. This is one of those examples. You guys had the lead, and I think the maturity is coming through that you guys just held on and continued to keep your foot on the gas throughout the game. That's a great statement, and that's something that we talked about. You know, when you're a young team and you're trying to learn how to win, that's one thing, and then learn how to handle the halftime atmosphere. Are you ahead? Are you behind? What do you got to come out in the second half with? I thought our guys really picked up their game in the third quarter, and I was very pleased to see I thought we had more intensity in the third quarter than we did in the first half, and that's important. And we were able to, like you say, put the foot on the gas, keep going, and our defense stepped up, kept making plays, and our offense scored, you know, uh, 28 points in the second half. Now we look forward to this week. It's rivalry week, Concordia, Wisconsin, Concordia, Chicago. No words really need to be said to talk about the matchup in general, but you guys head up to their place. It's always tough playing on the road in the neck, especially in a rivalry. It's going to be a hostile environment. Their student section comes out in full force for a game like this. How do you guys get ready for a game this week? Well, you know, one of the things that, that we always talk about is the fact that we've got to play our game and not worry about their game. We've got to do what we do best. You know, offensively, you've got to hang on to the football. Defensively, you've got to create those turnovers. Those turnovers help with the emotion of the game, too, because it kind of quiets the crowd. And that's the big thing. We've got to ignore... Uh, what's going on outside the football field itself, and just pay attention to what we got to do. And we get up there, just do our jobs, and, and we'll be fine. Well, we look forward to seeing you guys back out on the field. Cougars head up to Concordia, Wisconsin on Saturday to take on the Falcons. You can find all the links to the game coverage at cucougars.com. For head coach Randy Ari, I'm CJ Selner. Thank you for watching Coaches Weekly.